Gentlemen, we're beginning our descent into Berlin Tegut, where local time is 30 a.m. and temperature is a couple minus. Morning. <laughs> Did you sleep? Nah. I'll sleep at the hotel. You'll do great. You always do. What's the purpose of your visit? We're here for a biotechnology summit and giving a presentation. Mr. and Mrs. Harris, welcome to Berlin. Thank you, Shane. I'm giving a presentation. Well, what she has. Oh, welcome to Berlin. Arıyorlar. Bana bak. Ali. Ali ulan bizim... Çok güzel. Ben de seviniyorum. Ee? Tabii hepsini davet et. Bütün arkadaşlarımız da. Aa tabii. Bana bak. Sana güzel bir parti yaparız. Tamam mı? Söyle bir daha. Kaç gün? What do you think he's saying? Oğlum arabadayım. Kaçlıyım. No idea. Bu şerim de var bazı. Oh, look, Isabel Cronenberger is showing here on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Remember when we saw her in Chicago? Yes. Why don't I meet you there on Saturday after my lunch with Professor Bressler? Yeah. If you promise. I promise. Welcome to the Hotel Adlon Kempinski. Thank you. You check in, honey. I'll take care of this. Have you stayed with us before? First time in Berlin. First time in Berlin. How much do I owe you? 77, sir. Thank you. Welcome to the Adlon Kempinski Berlin. How may I help you, madam? Dr. and Mrs. Harris, the Eisenhower Street. Of course. Wait, wait. Everything okay, sir? Is this everything from the taxi? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm afraid, Mrs. Harris, but the Eisenhower Suite may not be available right now. What do you mean the suite may not be available? There have been some room changes due to security reasons, but... But we confirmed two weeks ago. Would you allow me to answer the phone? Sie können gerne durchstellen. Das Hotel Adlon Kempinski Berlin. Mein Name ist Peter Hoffmann. Was kann ich für Sie tun? Aber natürlich, Frau Mayer. Natürlich. Driver, is there another route?
Okay, ihr bleibt hier. Pass hier auf ihn auf. Ich hol die Sanitäter. Hello? Ist der okay? Hello? Hilf mir, wir müssen ihn wiederbeleben. Wie lange war er unter Wasser? Eine Minute vielleicht. Auf jeden Fall? Ja, und wir brauchen die Brücke. Hallo, Deutschland. Geht's dir gut? Keine Atmung. Wir gehen in die Animation. Kein Puls. Immer noch Puls. Sauerstoff. Schnell. Weiter. Drück die 200. Und weiter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Achtung, weg vom Patienten! Können Sie mich hören? Hören Sie mich? Wie heißen Sie? Sie haben einen Unfall gehabt. I, I don't speak German. Are you English? American. You have been in an accident. Accident. Can you tell me your name? Your name? Well, Martin, Martin Harris. Dr. Dr. Martin Harris. Where's my wife, Liz? Is she hurt? Dr. Harris. Is she hurt? No, no, Where is she? It's all right, Dr. Harris. You were the only passenger. The taxi you were in went into the river. Your heart stopped for several minutes. It's Thursday, November 24th. You have been in a coma for four days. It's Thanksgiving. My wife, she's in Berlin with me. Wait, where is she? Why isn't she here? I couldn't find any identification with you, Dr. Harris. No, 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 no. No, please, calm down. Ah. Where can we reach your wife? Does she have a cell phone? Of course she has a cell phone. It's, um... Uh... I can't remember. Can you tell me what you do remember, Martin? Bits and pieces. Arriving at the airport, uh, getting in a taxi with Liz. But I, I don't know how I got here. There are no rules with severe trauma of this kind. Memories get lost or fractured. Most of them return, although it's unlikely you will ever fully recall the events around your accident. In the meantime, let us see if anyone has filed a report looking for Martin Harris, okay? Yes, yes, yes. My wife? My Frau?
beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm glad you like it. She gave it to me as a gift in Paris on our honeymoon. Shada arrived in Berlin today for this year's Biotechnology Global Summit. The personal attendance of the flamboyant prince has fueled speculation that the summit, now in its 10th year, will witness the announcement of a major scientific breakthrough. With the world's leading researchers convening at the luxurious Hotel Adlon in central Berlin, Hotel the Adlon. Of biotechnology steps into the forefront of the media spotlight. I'm here for the summit. Nurse! You have to realize the risk. Doctor, I've been gone for four days. My wife is out there in a city she doesn't know. She'd be terrified. I need to find her. Sign this. It releases you from my care. And here's my card. Any nausea, dizziness, difficulty with speech, you contact me immediately. Do you understand? Thank you. Hotel Avon Kempinski Berlin. How may I help you? Yes, hi. I'm a guest of the hotel. I lost my room key. I need a new one. What room are you staying in? It's the Eisenhower Suite. And may I have your name? Martin Harris. Dr. Martin Harris. And may I please see some ID, Mr. Harris? There's been a situation. I've lost my passport. I'm going to need some ID, sir. If you could summon to escort me to my room, I can prove it. Just give me a moment. Hallo, hier ist die Rezeption. Ja, ich habe einen Herr hier und meinte, dass er ein Gast bei uns ist. Meinte, dass er... Um, excuse me, sir, do you have an invitation? No, I, I mean, yes. My name is Dr. Martin Harris. I'm on the list. Let me check. I think I saw my wife go inside. I'm trying to find her. Um, Herr Strauss? Dr. Martin Harris? Yes. Yes, there you are. I'm Herr Strauss, head of hotel security. Do you have any identification, passport, driver's license? No, I don't, but... <laughs> Professor Bressler! Professor Bressler! So He please. knows me. He can confirm who I am. If you will be patient, sir, no problem. <laughs> I'm being very patient. My God, there she is. That's my wife over there by the buffet table. I have been missing for four days, and she has no idea what happened to me, so I need you to take me to her right now. Okay. Thank you. The lady in the dark dress. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. Your husband is here. Liz. Oh, Jesus. Oh, excuse me. Do I know you? Liz, what's wrong? I'm sorry. I was in an accident. I was in a coma. I, they, they didn't know who I was. I said, I'm sorry. You must have me confused with someone else. Liz. It, it's me. Martin. Your husband. This is a misunderstanding. I don't know this man. Okay. Martin. 
This is my husband. You are Dr. Martin Harris? Last time I looked. Yep, still me. What's going on here? Is this some kind of a joke? Joke about what? Because it's not very funny. Do you know this man? No. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? I'm her husband. Okay, okay. Would you mind just getting him away from us, please? Liz. Hey, stop this. Gentlemen, hey, please, hey, please, hey, please. Hey, get your hands off. Why don't you just back Liz. off? What's going on? Come on, back tell me. Back off. What's this all about? Why don't you just take a walk, mister? Gentlemen, gentlemen please, Excuse please, please hey, gentlemen. Don't touch. Come on, come on. All this? right, can you get, get your hands off? If you don't leave here, now, please. we have to call the police. Call the police. No. Call the goddamn army. That's a good idea. Come on. Baby, what's happening here? You're embarrassing me. Please. Get him out of here. Come on, sir. Liz. I must apologize. I was hurt. Have a nice evening. Liz, why are you doing this to me? Right there. That's Liz. And I... Um, I, I must have been outside. I can't remember. Well, as you can see, you are not there. Immigration confirms the arrival of a doctor and Mrs. Harris on November the 20th at 7.40 a.m. Yes. At 8.50, she checked into their suite at the hotel, followed by Dr. Harris at 3 in the afternoon. What? Danke. He's, he's not Martin Harris. I am Dr. Martin Harris. The man upstairs is pretending to be me. And this imposter, did he also steal your wife? He, he must be forcing her or something. But why? Help me. Why? For God's sake, just do an internet search. There are over 400 Martin Harrises in the United States, sir. We already checked. Rod, Rodney Cole. A colleague at Langmore in the States, a, a dear friend, he can verify who I am. Please call him. It's uh, 001 508 This is Dr. Cole. I'm having an Sorry, hour. answering machine. Professor Bressler, talk to him. He's the reason I'm in Berlin. He invited me over to the summit to discuss my thesis. You know Professor Bressler? Yes. Well, we, we haven't actually met, but we've been, we've been speaking on the phone, emailing dozens of times. Why don't you arrest him? For what? Entering the country legally, presenting all the correct documentation and sharing hotel suite with his wife. Excuse me, with your wife. She is my wife. Herr Strauss, I found a Dr. Martin Harris at Langmore University. Yes, thank you. That's what I've been trying. Okay. Well, wait, 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 please, wait. You're going to arrest me? I demand to speak to my embassy. Unfortunately, it's your Thanksgiving. The embassy is closed until Monday. saying that you are not Dr. Martin Harris. I don't know. Bring the in to this address.
Den Reisepass bitte. Need Passport. Please. Please. Police. Very bad. Rodney, it's me, Martin. Listen, I'm in Berlin for the summit. But it's Liz. She's... I... I don't know what she's doing. And there's another man involved. And she... She... I'm in trouble, Rod. We... Sie sagt, sie darf nicht mehr, und sie sagt, ihr Leid. Die Schlampe schuldet mir 20.000 Euro. Die Bitch kostet ihm 20.000 Euro. Von der Versicherung gibt's keinen Pfennig, weil kein Fehlschein. Die Insurance won't cover the cap, als sie hat nur Lass. Sie sind und macht doch als Deutscher kaputt! Sie sagt, die legal Immigranten sind destroying German society. So, I'm guessing he doesn't know where she is. No one knows where she is. 
Thank him for his time. Excuse me. Hey, American, I'm sorry we couldn't help you. You know where she is, I can tell. Look, I just want to thank her. She saved my life. I thought maybe I could give her some money. I just want to thank her. Please. You remember me? I was in your taxi. I don't drive taxi. I was in your taxi. We crashed. I need to know. Where did you pick me up? Where was I going? How did you find me? Your friend Biko. Come on. Just leave me alone. Please, help me. Just leave me alone. Thank you for saving me. Excuse me. I need to find Professor Bressler's lab. I have an appointment at 12.30. I'm late. Your name, please? Dr. Martin Harris. Wait here, please. The professor knows who I am. We scheduled this appointment weeks ago. There's Manzina in here. Professor This Bressler. laboratory is a restricted area. Who are you? This man is not Martin Harris. I am Dr. Martin Harris. So, what is this? There are two Martin Harrises. No, let me explain. This man showed up at my hotel last night claiming to be me. The police were called. I called the police, you son of a bitch! He checked himself out of a hospital. Seems he was in an accident. Professor. Professor, soll ich die Polizei rufen? Yeah, okay. Did you... We, we talked. You and I on the phone. We discussed your interest in alternative forms of propagation. I told you about my father, a school teacher, his passion for science. We talked about your children, about how much time you've spent with them since you lost your wife. Two girls, right? You, you told me their names. And I, 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 I just, I know them, I know them. Laura. Laura, Lily, twins, 10 years old, about the same age I was when I told my father I wanted to be a botanist. Do you remember, Professor? We talked about that on the phone, how I'd never seen my father this happy. No, that wasn't you. Don't you remember we spoke about how brave our wives were to, to marry scientists? scientists? I told you about our, our honeymoon, honeymoon in Paris. My wife and I, and how she wanted to visit all the museums. All I wanted to do was go to the Le Col Col Polytechnique. Polytechnique. But, but she, she insisted. And, and that's, that's how, how I first saw Leonardo's Vitruvian Man! Wow. This is not happening. Professor, the police is here. Moment, moment. I don't know who this man is, but he has taken everything from me. You have to arrest him. Go on, arrest him! I... I don't believe I need to do this. Ich sollte das jetzt wahrscheinlich nicht tun, aber... My 
friend. He looks. He finds people. Martin. The mistake was mine. I should never have let you leave. What's happening to me, Doctor? Confusion. Memory loss. Complete or partial loss of identity. These are common stages in recovery. A person can awaken from a coma convinced of a reality that was previously only fantasy. We are going to sedate you now. Do another MRI. Try to find out what's going on, okay? If I'm not Martin Harris, why do I know so much about him? Perhaps he was someone you read about or met once in passing. Do you know what it feels like to become insane, Doctor? It's like a war between being told who you are and knowing who you are. Which do you think wins? Hello, Martin. This won't take very long. Entschuldigung, wo bringen Sie diesen Patienten hin? Oh, hallo. Ähm, ich soll diesen Patienten hier ins amerikanische Krankenhaus in Wiesbaden bringen. Ohne das Formular können Sie ihn nicht mitnehmen. Hier sind zwei Bewerbungspatienten. Sagen Sie mal her, da muss ich erst anrufen. Ja.
okay. I'm feeling much, much better. She looked after me in the hospital. She was kind to me, too. I'm sorry. She's dead. Come in. Thank you. Drink? No, thanks. I was a former member of the Stasi, the Ministry for State Security. East German secret police, huh? Yes. Proudly. But I like to forget it. <coughs> we Germans are experts at forgetting. We forgot we were Nazis. Now we have forgotten 40 years of communism, all gone. But it's not just history that's forgotten. It's people, too. Please tell me more about Nurse Gretchen Erfurt. Quite the story. For a moment, they had me convinced I was crazy. But when they came to take me, when they killed your friend, I knew. I'm not sure how I can be of service. I need you to help me prove I'm me. May I? Please. It's a, it's a gift from my father. I always have it with mm. me. mean anything to you? No, it's uh, my wife's writing. So they mean something to her. That's my schedule for this week. I wrote it from memory. 
your wife's involvement in this. There must have been something in the past. Uh, you, friend and acquaintance. Oh, no. uh, no. Unexplained absence. No, no, there was nothing. I would have known. <clears throat> May and always like to think. Of... It's not Liz. I know her. Yet she does not know you. Look, whoever's been doing this, they've been planning it for some time. They have passports, credit cards, family photos, for God's sakes. I mean, this takes preparation, doesn't it? They have detailed knowledge of my research, my relationship with Professor... As well as the fact that you were going to have a random accident that would allow a stranger to seamlessly take your place? These people may be good, but they are not God. A little confirmation would be nice. Somewhere there's proof. They can't have thought of everything. The question is, why would they want to take your place? What could they gain from being you? What does your wife gain by denying you exist? Do you believe me? In the Stasi, we had a basic principle. Ask enough questions and the man who is lying will eventually change his story. But the man who tells the truth cannot change his, however unlikely his story sounds. Do you believe me? I believe you are telling the truth, Dr. Harris. I start by calling your colleague at Langmore. As you say, it's Thanksgiving, there's the time difference, so it may take time to make contact. Then there is the question of... Oh, of money, of course. Unfortunately, yes. Money. Of course. Here. Here's everything I have. I'll pay you in full as soon as I can. For expenses? Sure. I need 24 hours. Uh, call me tomorrow afternoon. And go find your taxi driver. See if she'll talk to me. She was there at the beginning of all this. Perhaps she knows something. I've already tried. There may be details we've overlooked. That's what I was really known for. Details. Gina! I know why you ran away from the accident. You're an illegal. If the police had picked you up, they would have deported you. Look, I want you to have this. What if I don't want it? It's worth at least 5,000 euro. Feel the weight of it. Go on, it's the real thing. E-H to M-H? Elizabeth Harris, my wife, to me, Martin. Special gift. Okay, Martin Harris. What do you want? There's someone I needed to speak to. I'm not talking to the police. He's not the police, I promise you. I just need you to, to tell him what happened. Anything, everything you can remember. And I need a place to crash tonight. <laughs> Please. Sentiment. It's always the first thing to go. Look up, Sicherheit. Herr Brandt, sprich für Sie auf Rettung 1. Brandt? Hans? Hier ist Jürgen. Jürgen? Von früher, von den guten alten Zeiten. Hans, du musst mir einen Gefallen tun. I picked you up from the Adlon Hotel. You wanted to go to the airport. You were in a hurry. That's it. But I just arrived. It doesn't make sense. She didn't recognize you. How long have you been married? Five years. Five years? I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. This is it. Sorry, no elevator. Ah! Ah! I know. Not the Adlan Hotel. Ah! The vaults are made of cardboard, but it's home. I have to work tonight. You can sleep in there. 
I have extra mattress. It's quaint. Mind if I took a shower? Keep it dry. I'm not sure you will fit. The light is broken. You need to leave the door open if you want to see anything. that does not give you the right You're to... right. They're good, the drawings. You want to know? This is me. 2,258 euros and counting. I get to 4,000, I can buy papers so I can get the hell out of here. Sell the watch, you'll have more than you need. I plan to. never goes for very long. This guy, you can... He's absolutely no danger to you. Okay. Hello. You got company. Do you have the keys? Bring it back to my place. Leave the keys on the TV and don't forget to reset the meter. You're the best. I know. Come. Yes, I sleep with every American you sent my way. No need to explain. <laughs>
Jones?
Out of the way. Out of the way. Hey, We're being followed. Vladimir. Hey, Gina, talk to you. my family in Bastia. My mother, my father, my brother, slaughtered. We have to disappear. Gina, they're after me, not you. Don't be stupid. They're after both of us. If they killed Biko, they killed me just as easily. Sorry I brought more trouble into your life. I will try and make up for it, I promise. I know. I figured something out. It's a simple code. The first number refers to a page in the book. The second to a line on that page, the third to words on that line. What are the words? The Latin names of two plant species, Calichortus albus and Umbellularia californica. Fairy lantern and California bay, both common flowering plants. What does it mean? That, I don't know. Not part of your work, or Professor Bressler's? No. Come in, Martin. How close are Professor Bressler and Prince Shada? Very close. The Prince is sponsoring the summit. They're both progressives. Bressler wants to end world hunger. He's uh, researching new forms of crop cultivation, offering open access to his data. The Prince funds his work. He knows the world will need food long after his oil resources are depleted. Those agricultural patents will be worth a fortune. But the Prince's progressiveness has cost him. Extremists in his own country hate him. And yet he perseveres his course despite multiple attempts on his life. 
There's a cocktail party before Bresla's speech tonight, is that correct? Yes. For some, that might be a very good reason to want to be you. Martin Harris, with just a few guests in a confined space with Prince Shada. Jurgen may be right, but they might not be able to prove it. I need to find Liz. Oh, Martin, that is not a good idea. The people who have her have been sticking to my schedule. I know where she'll be today. Someone will be watching her. What if he's there? He won't be. He's me, remember? He'll be meeting with Bressler. I'm a whole five. They just sit down. Let me know when they leave. Thanks. What are you doing here? Liz, what's happening? Are you crazy? You have to leave me alone. Why? You have to tell me why. Are they, are they making you do this? Are they threatening you? How did you find me? Did you follow me? When we arrived, you saw the ad. You mentioned when we first saw our show. In Chicago, together, don't you remember? Kill us both. I, 
never should have left you. I never should have gotten into that taxi. You don't understand, do you? Your briefcase. It got left behind at the airport. That's why you were going back. You need to find it. Wait for me there. Miss, miss, wait. Right away. Yes, it is. My name is Rodney Cole. I received a phone message from you. And I received two from Martin as well. What's the problem? Oh, dear. Well, that's unbelievable. The poor man. Well, listen, here's the good news. I've just arrived in Berlin. Yes, I've been teaching in Leipzig at the oh, Hochschule für Technik. I'm sorry. Please excuse my German. Well, I came up for the last day to hear Bresler's speech. I could come right over. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, it's no problem at all. It's not far. I know exactly where you are. I look forward to meeting you, Mr. Cole. Well, then I'll see you soon. Bye. Rodney Cole. Leipzig. Drink? I have a bottle labeled brandy, which is more than likely hair liquor or some vodka my neighbor gave me after it made her husband go blind. No, thank you. Or maybe some coffee. I'm making some for myself. No, I'm fine. Thank you. In the Stasi in East Germany. Well, my grandson's going to be very excited to hear that. He loves all this Cold War stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, what kind of car is that? That's a Volga Getz 24. Suspension of a donkey cart and smelt like a tannery. <laughs> Vanished as quickly as the wall. This business with Martin is a hell of a thing. How did he find you? Quite by chance, as it happens. I would say he was damn lucky. How can I help? Come with us with the authorities. Have them confirm his identity. The authorities? Oh, Jesus. Is it that bad? I mean, a man comes to you with a story. Why did you take his case? <laughs> Curiosity. Is that all? There's not much in this world left to interest an old spy like me. 
A few questions I still think over. One in particular from when I worked with the Aufklärer on our foreign intelligence wing. They used to talk about the European-based assassination unit called Section 15, freelance deniable, that worked for whoever would pay, public sector, private sector, second to none in their planning and efficiency. What's more, they never failed. And I'm told they are still in existence, but it's only rumor, of course. You had time after I called you. Why didn't you run? Where should I run? From Section 15, Mr. Cole? I can hardly walk. Before we could get Chesterfields, I smoked 60 Mahorkas a day. Filthy Soviet things. Killed more Russians than Stalin. My doctors assure me I'll soon be joining their list of casualties. I want to know how he found you. I want every name, every source you contacted on his behalf. And then what? We shake hands and you go away. Kann ich einmal den Ausweis sehen? Er hat keine. Er hat einen Unfall. Deswegen wurde die Tasche nie abgeholt. Ich habe Pech gehabt. Er hat wait, wait, please. Bitte. The combination for the lock is... Two, eight, zero. Zwei, acht, null. Stay here. It's not safe for you. Liz told me to wait here. Where are you going? You got your life back. I'm happy for you. Now I need to get on with mine. Gina.
Thank you. It's more than I need. It's less than you deserve. For everything you've been through. Go on, take it. What if she told them where you were going? Yes, she, she wouldn't. How do you know? She know. She's my wife. Yes, she is. It's too heavy for me. doing here? Well, you called me. Don't you remember? You left a message on my machine. I got on the first plane I could. What have you gotten yourself into? I'm sorry to drag you into this. Oh, don't be. We've been friends for 15 years. I know you'll do the same for me. Take that for you. Oh nein. Hallo. Was jetzt? Ich habe nicht den ganzen Tag Zeit. Helfen Sie mir bitte mit dem Gepäck. Ja, na klar. Was machst du da? Was mit dem Gepäck? never had this happen before. You really think you are Martin Harris, don't you? What the hell, Rod? You're my oldest friend. You, you, you know who I am. It's me. It's, it's not this other guy. He's not... Martin the... Harris? No, of course he's not. But then neither are you. What? There is no Martin Harris. He doesn't exist. You invented him. He's your legend. You just made him up as a cover to get into the conference. You're not making sense. Liz. Liz. Liz is not your wife. You were a professional team. No, 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 no. This is insane. She... Your memories are not real. Martin Harris is a fabrication. You just invented a life, and then you filled in the gaps. She's right, you're really gone on this. She had to go in with a backup. How do you think she feels? They're gonna write a textbook on you someday. And thank you for retrieving the briefcase from the airport, leaving it there it was untidy. It was a loose end that didn't fit in with our plans, and 
you're going to figure this out. By the way, he's dead. And he died very well. And I'm afraid that isn't something I'm going to be able to say about you. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Rodney! We did everything we could to make you come back. Do you know how much time you've wasted? It's Thanksgiving. I could have been home with my family having dinner instead of cleaning up your mess because you bumped your head and started to believe your cover. Tell me. Who am I? You were a trained assassin, and you were my best boy. And now you're just gonna be another nameless dead junkie. Martin Harris, married to Elizabeth Thurman, July 18, 2006, Matas Vineyard. Father died September 9, 1987, of a heart attack. I made it up. I made it up to kill a man I've never met. Look, August 27, the entry stamp. You were in Berlin three months ago. Are you ready? Almost. Ready. Who are these people? They can become anyone. They... 
We are killers. Friend Shot is going to be assassinated tonight. There's a bomb on his suite. I put it there. You should have let me drown. What matters is what you do now, Martin. Gäste nehmen Ihre Plätze fürs Dinner ein. Frau Manier, bitte. Professor Bressler ist jetzt in der Empfangshalle. Der Professor ist auf dem Weg zu Eisenhower, sie für den Empfang. Und jetzt zeigen wir noch mal den fünften Stock. Franz Schader hat sein Suite verlassen. Er geht jetzt auch zur Empfangsparty. I'm so honored you could attend this evening. The honor is all mine. <laughs> yeah. Would you like a drink? In some circles, my husband is more well known for his martinis than his research. You have an invitation, sir? Oh, I, I don't know if I'm supposed Theo, to. Theo, please, yes, come in. I don't think we need an invitation to your own reception. Good to see you. So good to see you. Have you met our host? Not yet. Hello? No, I can see why somebody would pretend to be him. <laughs> this way. Ich brauche security and inspot in eingang. Oh, let me take that. I'd rather hold on to this, if you don't mind. Oh, you can trust me, Professor. Separation anxiety. Just leave it there, if you could. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> this way. Get your hands off her. There's a bomb in the Eisenhower suite! I put it there three months ago! I suppose now you are saying that you are Dr. Martin Harris? You're not listening! Take me to the room! 
I'll show you exactly where it is. Up to the room, in the middle of a party, with Prince Shada and the world's leading scientific minds? Of course. Why didn't you say so before? I'm not lying. Pull up the reception recordings from August 27th of this year. Do it now, or many people will die. Change. I'm just going to grab my bag. Here, why don't you just wear it like some nerdy accessory? Yeah. Thank you. Secrets in it, right? Yeah. If you would like to say so, would you excuse me? I have to go to the office. Stop, stop. That's it. Do you see? Look, do you see? Sofort Alarm auslösen. Das gesamte Hotel wird evakuiert. Wir übernehmen den Prinzen am Hinterausgang. Sie kommen mit mir und Sie beide bleiben hier und passen auf, dass die den Raum nicht verlassen. Alles klar? Find the target, finish it. We got what we came for. I'm going to take care of the bomb. Forget about it. They have my image on file from when we planted it. So what? So I don't want my face connected forever to an explosion we no longer need. Go! Lily, Laurel. Wrestlers, girls, Lily, Laurel. Flowering plants. Calachortis albus and Umbellularia californica. The code from the book. There is passwords. <laughs> Wrestlers supposedly working on a new strain of, of corn, one that can grow in any climate. It's revolutionary. If they access his research and kill him, it could be worth billions in the wrong hands. <laughs> If that bomb goes off, it'll look as if Charlotte was killed by extremists. The prince was never the target. It's Bressler. Listen, listen. You have to tell Strauss Bressler. they're after Bressler. Do, do you understand? Go! Go! Out of the way! Move! Move! Wandering around looking for oh, you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We have to leave. Yes.
This will be at the party where we will access Bressler's computer and steal his files. The client wants this clean. He wants the material from Bressler's computer and Bressler dead. No one can ever know what happened. When the bomb goes off, it'll appear that Shadab is the target and that Bressler was collateral damage. Less than 24 hours after the failed assassination attempt on the Saudi prince, Nobel laureate Professor Leo Bressler announced the development of a new strain of corn. Fast-growing, self-propagating, drought-tolerant and pest-resistant to be made available worldwide without patent or copyright costs. We have made the genetic map of this new sustenance available to all. It's a gift. It's a gift from Prince Shada and from science to mankind. Humanitarian organizations applauded the announcement, but agribusiness companies were taken by surprise and watched as stocks plunged 14%. This is Annabel Mundane reporting from Berlin. And in other news, the European Parliament today passed legislation to remove trade tariffs on English and rights. Now you're free to do whatever you want. 
Claudia Marie Taylor. I like it. It suits you. <laughs> Who are you? Henry. Henry Taylor. Oh. Nice to meet you, Mr. Taylor. Nice to meet you. 